Hello and welcome to the SmartFade video training series. During this series you'll learn a lot of different things about the SmartFade console and how to use it on a daily basis. For the purposes of this series I'll be using the Virtual SmartFade software version 1.6. Virtual SmartFade is a PC and Macintosh based application that allows you to simulate a SmartFade on your screen just as you see in this recording. You can download Virtual Smart Fade at www.etcconnect.com. Just do a search for Virtual Smart Fade. During this video, we'll look at an overview of the Smart Fade consoles and all of the controls located on it, and we'll do a tutorial on how to navigate the menu structure of the Smart Fade as well. So here we go. Let's take a look at the controls of the Smart Fade console. Uh, the first thing you'll notice is the channel and memory faders. You'll have either 24 or 48 channel memory faders depending on the Smart Fade that you own. Each of those channel memory faders has a slider that can be raised and lowered to raise and lower lighting levels and a bump or flash button below it which can be used to bump or flash the memory or the channel that's associated with that slider. To the right of that, you'll see a controls area where you'll notice there's a clear key, several other function keys, including a channel paging controls, a memory key, and then a preview and undo, some more special function keys. Just to the right of that, you'll see a fader pair that we call the stack. On the console, it's labeled crossfader. The stack is where you can play back a show that you've created using your go and pause controls or manual fades. You can play back that show pre-recorded with individual times for each lighting cue. And to the right of that, you'll notice more controls that have to do uh, mainly with recording and editing. And on the far side of the console, you'll see two additional sliders that are labeled Independent 1 and Independent 2. Those are great handy little sliders for a place to put work lights or other special function lights, and we'll talk about how they work in a later video. Now in the center top of the console here, you'll see the LCD menu window and its navigation controls. We're going to talk about those in just a moment. Just to the right of those, you'll notice the SD card slot, and the SD card slot is where you can use a standard SD memory card, like the kind you might see in a cellular phone or in a digital camera, to store and retrieve shows. You can store shows to the SD card and then retrieve them later. And in the upper right hand corner you'll notice on this Smart Fade, Virtual Smart Fade, it's labeled ON. In fact on a real, real Smart Fade it's labeled with the universal symbol for POWER. And you can turn your Smart Fade on by pressing that button. Now as for turning your Smart Fade on, if you momentarily press the POWER key and immediately let off, your Smart Fade will boot into the mode that it was last used in. You'll notice that mode is in parentheses above the power key. If you start with a smart fade that's turned off and depress and hold the power key for several seconds, you'll see the startup screen that's displayed now on my virtual smart fade, which says select startup mode. Now the smart fade runs in uh, any one of three modes. You'll notice that normal mode is the option set here. And I can use the encoder wheel right here to move to different modes. For instance, DMX backup mode or two scene mode. Those are the three available. So basically you select the mode that you wish to start up in. I'll start it in normal mode. And then I'll use the menu or enter key to enter that mode. We're now up and ready for action. When you turn your smart fade off, you'll depress the power key momentarily, and the LCD menu will display a uh, confirm shutdown message. And then to confirm that shutdown, you'll use the menu or enter key again. So let's get uh, comfortable with the LCD menu and navigating it here. The LCD menu consists of the LCD, three buttons, one, two, and three, and an encoder wheel. This first button, labeled Menu and also used as an Enter key, is just to the right of the encoder wheel. Uh, just to the left of the encoder wheel is a back key.
key, and this will move you backwards through the series of menus you're going to find. To the left of that, you'll find a double arrow key, and that is the home key. That will move you back out to home, out of the menu, from anywhere that you are within that structure. So from this normal state, to enter the menus, I'll hit the menu key. Now I'll see Smart Fade Menu, and it starts out on Channels. So I move the encoder wheel, I'll move through the different options that are available. And each time I want to move deeper into the menu, for instance, if Settings is what I desire here, I'll use the Menu key as an Enter. Now I'm in the Settings menu. And you'll see the options that appear there. I can move them. Select the option I'm interested in, and hit Enter and move further into that menu structure. I can use the back key to move out, for instance, out of the settings menu, back to the main menu, and at any time I can use the home key to return back to the home screen. Now those are the basics of getting your smart fade on and navigating the basic menu structure. In our next video, we'll start talking about working with channels and bringing up lights.